Hello everybody, this week, well next week we are learning about subtraction and how to take away by crossing out. So what you can do at home is you can find a number from 1 to 10. Today we're going to use the number 7. But you can choose any number, probably 3 or more though. So pick 7 objects in the room or in the kitchen or you can just draw them and you can cross them out. So we've got seven and today we're going to take away, let's take away two. So we're going to take away two. And all we need to do is cross them out. How many do we have left? So we've got one, two, three, four, five left. Now if we were to record this in a part whole model, we would say we had seven all together. So seven is the whole. We took away two, or we subtracted two, and how many did we have left? We had five left, so five is the other part. Seven is the whole, two is a part, and five is a part. Now, if we were to write this as a number sentence, we would start with the number that we started with, which was seven. We crossed out two, so we took away two, or we subtracted two, and it equaled five. Now we've just done this for seven take away two, but you could do seven take away three, seven take away four, and then you could choose a different number, maybe choose five or eight. So you can practice that at home as often as you can. Remember though, if we just get rid of the pen, You can also just do this by getting objects in the room, getting them all together. So say if we had seven all together, and then you can just pull them apart. So we can just move them. So we could have seven, take away two, and take two away like that. Okay, and then how many's left? One two, three, four, five. So you can also do your maths like that this week. This is a new concept for year one. We haven't done any subtracting yet. So practicing at home would be brilliant to do this weekend to help them for next week. Have fun.